got a black tutu with red and white leggings. If I want to go more dark imagery. And then we have a more traditional Alice in Wonderland outfit. And so we're going to try both. We're looking at different outfits that we're going to use for the shoot. For the Mad Hatter, the most important part, of course, is the hat. Today we're going to be shooting the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. If I want to be a little more colorful about his britches. My name's John Lagerspada and I'm an image maker. A photographer who's concerned with journalism is about capturing an image. It's finding and capturing. I'm more about expressing what's going on in my head. And the best way for me to be introduced would be as a collage artist working in a new media. Basically, for the first few shots here, your uh, arms being crossed is actually pretty good. <laughs> but, um, my models today are Kaylin and Lily. Kaylin, I, I work with, and uh, Lily's her daughter. So I want you to take like a little bolder stance this time, kind of like. Well, we're just basically going to be shooting them as various different characters, but just the people, the table, the teacups, the walls, the trees in the background. I'm going to be shooting those all separately. All right, just turn your head slightly, yeah, about there, okay. Keep your eyes open. This is a piece called Goya Rabbit. This is uh, gonna incorporate a lot of the elements that uh, I'm gonna use in the Alice in Wonderland piece. This is a collage of images of myself but then that I'm, I'm using the computer to draw over to make a new, completely new character. And this one is the, the monster rabbit, which is a, a tongue-in-cheek joke on Goya's Saturn devouring his children. I think humor is an important element in artwork because reality straight is too harsh. It needs a little sweetening up, and that's sort of the dark humor of, of, of my work. Okay. You're holding a teacup. Now uh, you're sipping on the thing. Yeah, there you go. When someone thinks my work is weird, it certainly doesn't hurt my feelings or anything like that because I'm trying to make uh, an unusual image. I don't want I don't want my work to be something that 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 everybody sees all the time. This is shot at the uh, James J. Hill House. One of the early inspirations for this was uh, just looking at sports photography of all things. They have basketball players going up to dunk a ball and he's got a very stretched, strange face because he's exerting himself in an unconscious way. And so I'm trying to create the looks people have on their face when they're, they're not thinking about, they're uh, in the midst of emotion, not trying to express emotion. Open your eyes way big again. So much so that it hurts your eyeballs. There you go. Usually when I'm working on something, I'll, I'll put together a couple different ideas. So basically, this is going to be for the, the rabbit character, the March Hare. This character is going to be almost completely drawn. So I'm just putting a coat on her, and she's going to have to sort of pose in how the rabbit's going to end up. Kind of looks sleepy. You're tilting, falling asleep. I think I got it, pretty much. Next is I have to download all these images onto my computer, start constructing the background, and I'll, I'll be shooting uh, the greenery in here, and then I'll marry that to the wall and window stuff downstairs and get that in front of the table. As I start to put the image together, all that will make sense. Well, it's been about a month since we did the photo shoot, and I've just been getting all the separate images in the same composition, figuring out where everything's going. It sort of just evolved to the point where I've gotten the, the ground of it ready. I start out with this from a source material, but in the end, it's, it's just a suggestion of what's going to happen. It's nice to have just some like starting points and then I can build off that. The way I have developed the uh, Alice character First, I look over the whole amount of the uh, photos I took, and I just look at them and I start thinking, what if this head were on this body? It's a pain in the butt, but 
I, I, it's, I get more precisely what I want. The tree I just took by uh, Lake Calhoun since the photo shoot. These leaves and this grass are fake, so I've got those at my disposal to configure as I'm going, as the, as the image moves along. I want there to be a complete experience. In other words, they're seeing beauty and, and interest and humanity in the work, but they're getting the universal experience of suffering and the rough edges of life also, and, and hopefully some humor too. After they get through the weirdness, they can start to see maybe some of the uh, tongue-in-cheek references to, to sort of lighten it a bit. <laughs>